Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to. It's the join button below this video or the link in the description box. That is where I post all of my channel messages, more detailed messages. Um, there's a ton already posted there. You'll get access to everything. Um, especially join, you know, if this message resonates with you or if any of my other videos resonate. Um, I always post things there. Sometimes the messages relate to the video, sometimes they could be unrelated, general messages, uh, but people really seem to like those, so definitely join if you like my content and it also helps support my channel, so thank you to everyone who does that. I also appreciate everyone who decides to donate or anything like that. Thank you so much, and yeah, um, we're gonna get into this reading. I just want to let you guys know now this is going to be more of a deeper message. This is not necessarily going to be just, you know, what's going on with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine right now. This is going to be more of a, um, I don't know, a <laughs> more intuitive message. It's something that I feel though is meant for someone here because I was getting it very strongly and I felt like I had to share it. Um, so I would definitely listen, you know, especially if you've been going through a time where you feel like maybe things aren't working out the way you were hoping them to, I would, I would definitely listen to this reading. Okay, so getting into this reading, guys, I already recorded this once and I felt like I didn't explain it well enough, so I'm gonna try again here. So I received a channel message the other night that was very, I feel, profound. I had a whole vision with it. It wasn't just a message. I was hearing sentences. It was almost like I was speaking with someone. It's crazy, I know. So if you're interested, though, please stick around. We'll get into it. Basically... The message that I got, it started off as a vision. Um, I was seeing planet Earth, and as I was seeing the Earth, um, I started seeing these roots going all throughout the Earth. They were just like tree roots going everywhere through the Earth. It was like this whole underground network, and the message that I, they were trying to get across is that um, you can't see the network because it's underground. Everything's there, but it was underground. Um, and they were trying to explain, though, that all these trees were connected all across the world, but you just you couldn't see because the whole network was underground once again. But you knew it was there. So then they show me a planet that is covered in neurons, basically. It looked like neurons, like synapses. I don't know the exact term for it, but it was like the world was covered in this network. And it was like glowing white lines the way I was seeing it. And it was just covering the entire planet. And then the neurons like whatever they were they kind of like went outside of the earth as well almost as if it, they were trying to say that everything on the earth everything that you see is all connected it's all yeah somehow related like the, everything is interconnected but then they were also showing me that it's not just the earth it's everything outside of the, the earth like the entire universe it, it like expanded the entire universe is what they were showing me um that's what I saw. I'm going to try and insert a picture here so you guys sort of get an idea of what I was seeing because I just feel like it would be so much better if I could show you guys. I also tried to draw a picture of it. It wasn't the very, the best drawing, honestly, but that is kind of what I was seeing. And um, I started hearing stuff about it too. So I was hearing that it's like an expansion of nerves and neurons that travels across space and time is what I heard. I heard everything and everyone is part of this network. It is all connected. Um, I also heard wave of light, light fields, a lot about light was coming through. And again, I was seeing this as like white glowing neurons or something or like lines connecting everything. Um, I heard journey across space and time to create reality as we see it, a part of a grander picture. I also heard it never ends. It has no end, um, knows no end. I just kept hearing. Um, I also heard only infinity as well. So this network, whatever this is, it goes on forever. Um, I also heard light it up like a map and it will show you where to go. And I feel like that message kind of corresponds to, you know, awakening and following your intuition, this guidance that you feel. Because again, it's almost like it was showing me that there is, everything is connected and like we know where to go. And it's almost like we are being guided, but we just can't see it. And that's why we have to like tap in. By the way, my right ear just started ringing a whole bunch as I was saying that. That's why I kind of paused there. That was really strange. But um, that's why I feel like we get certain downloads. We hear certain things because we really are all connected. It's not like we're separate. 
you know, and I just feel like we're more guided than we know is part of the message here. And if you awaken to certain things, you realize certain things, I feel like that's when your path opens up is also what they're saying. You're lighting something up that's never been lit up before, maybe. I don't know. I'm just what I'm hearing. Um, so anyways, I heard, awaken to your true nature, your true power, your connectedness to the whole. You aren't only a human body with human capabilities. You have within you the entire universe. The power of every being, every life form that's ever that's ever existed, they are consciousness. We are consciousness. You hold the power of the universe within you. Every possibility, every thought that can ever be thought, every idea that could ever be imagined, every idea that could ever be realized is within you. There are no limits, no boundaries. Everything is real. Everything is consciousness. The stars, planets, light years away, they are you. It's only you, not as you perceive you but you as consciousness itself. I heard light the way, light the path. That's what I just kept hearing, something about lighting up the path, lighting up the way. Um, I also feel like this talks about like, because this message is something I received as well, I do feel like part of it is, you know, lighting up the way for other people or showing other people the same thing. Um, I don't know, that's just what I got when I heard this message. Um, I feel like yeah, I don't know, guys. We'll keep going. I also heard we grow as a whole, not by one. Um, life as we know it may change is also what I heard. Um, so I do feel like, you know, growing as a whole is talking about growing as consciousness as a whole, not just growing by your own experiences. Like your experiences affect consciousness as a whole. Um, we're all meant to work together in some way. Again, we're all connected is, is the main message here. Um, I also heard don't want just be as well um i'll get maybe more into that after but okay i also heard there is no past no future there is only now everything that's ever happened is happening now all at once your imagination is seeing all of the potential possibilities for what you can experience right now time isn't real those thoughts are consciousness playing out in real time um I also, when I, when I heard this message, I got a vision and it was showing me, it was like thousands and thousands of, it almost looked like rooms, but you could see into all of them. And in every room, there was a different scene playing out or different things happening. And, um, this kind of also looked like, like, if you want to imagine it was something almost like an apartment building, you cut in half, but you could see into every single person's room and see what was happening. And they were all living different lives at different times, but it was all playing out at once. And this included as well, like, things that happened years ago they were showing me, but also things that are happening in the future. Like, every event that could ever happen was happening at the same time. It wasn't happening at different times. They were all happening at once. And it was, like, showing you almost like, you know, in quantum theory, like, the parallel, parallel realities. Like, every single possibility was playing out at once. And, yeah, that includes every event that's ever happened. That's what I was seeing. And I tried to another create another Im AI image for you guys to try and show you what I was seeing. But again, um, I couldn't really get anything to show exactly what the vision was like, but I did my best. So I'll add it here, you know, for you guys. But all right, hopefully you're sticking with me. <laughs> I also started asking questions while I was like in this uh, meditation, you know, hearing these messages. So I heard or I asked what is the physical world then? And the response was a playground. Um, I heard we built it to be able to experience ourselves the joy of consciousness. I also said, what about war and sadness? And they said, it's all part of the experience. Death leaves a sense of finality. I said, why have death if consciousness is infinite? And they said, because death is the ultimate testament of love and human devotion. Without death, we'd never love as hard. We never learn what it's like to feel lost, to cherish someone, to commit. We'd never learn true strength and compassion for the soul. Um, I said, so is everything about learning and expanding consciousness, and they responded, and playing. So learning, expanding consciousness, and playing is part of it. So the big thing is that it's not just about creating, it's also about experiencing. And I feel like we'll get more into that. I feel like the cards kind of clarify that, so we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and I also asked, what about our desires? What are, what are those? And they said, they are all yours. Um, they are for you and only you. They are different for every person. Um, essentially, so 
we all live out different life paths. We all have different experiences we are meant to experience because we have different desires. Everyone has different desires. Some have similar desires, but we all have slightly different ones. And it's because we're all meant to expand in different ways, um, expand consciousness in different ways, learn different things. Um, but yeah, if you, it's also like if you have a desire for something, it's essentially meant to be yours. You're meant to experience it. So it's not just a desire, like you aren't crazy um, thinking that you, you could have this thing. It's actually something you're meant to experience. Um, and that's why you might feel lost if you don't have it right now. Um, because yeah, it's something that, again, we'll, we'll get into this more. <laughs> again, sorry guys, this is such a deep message. I hope you guys are following along with me. I hope you like this message. Let me know by liking the video, <laughs> leave a comment. Let me know. But yeah, okay, we're going to continue. So I also asked, um, who am I talking to right now? The response was God, earth, spirit, whatever you want to call it, consciousness. I was talking to my higher self, essentially, is what it's saying. Um, I'm talking to the collective. So again, everything is one. We're all one. There's no special name for it, but it's all like the same. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to continue. I, um, yeah. That's actually most most of the message, but I do have more stuff I wrote down here, guys. I'm going to talk about in just a second because I feel like it's very significant too. Um, but I want to get into the cards here, which clarify this message. So um, essentially what, I, what I'm getting from this message, um, it's really interesting because I just saw the Barbie movie recently. Just wanted to pop in and say a quick spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I might just skip this part. Just skip like 20 seconds forward and you should be good. Okay, thanks. And I feel like it kind of is like a spiritual awakening movie, guys. And I feel like the part of the movie that really got me was the very, you know, the end part when she tells her to feel and she, she asks if she can create you know, rather than be the creation. And that is the number one message that I'm getting here that's so significant, and I got it with these cards as well, is that you aren't just the one experiencing your reality, you are the one creating it as well. And you have to realize that you are the creator and the one that gets to experience, you're both. Um, so it's saying that in order to have a new life or experience something that you've always wanted to experience, um, you, you have to have that idea in your mind and you have to create it yourself. You have to bring the idea into reality. Everything is created from your imagination, essentially. So you see her right here cracking out of the egg. It's almost like when you plant a seed too and you wait for the seed to grow, like it takes time sometime. But if you plant that seed, as in like you plant a certain thought, like I'm going to be successful one day and you continue to water that thought by continuing to think it every single day eventually that thought's going to grow into a tree eventually you're going to be successful because you've continued to believe that one thing over and over um i don't know if that makes sense again this message might be for certain people <laughs> we'll see um but yeah i'm also getting with this card stuff about radiating energy radiating radiating out so you have this energy way more than you think, like you have power way more than you think um, within you. I just keep getting the message of like that network that I was seeing. I also saw it like going into you as well, as in like you have access to this entire network. You think you're just a human, you think you're just a person on this planet, you know, capable of human things and you just have to live your life dealing with the events that happen in front of you. But it's not like that, like you, you can tap into this network anytime that you want and you can create things. You are the creator as well and you can pull anything out of this like I showed you guys or I told you guys. Um, there are endless possibilities and you just have to select one and you have to stick with that possibility and decide that's going to be your reality and eventually the idea will be born into the physical world if that makes any sense. By the way, I apologize for my, for my cat. Um, but yeah, and there's also something too about the fact that you are on a pedestal like put yourself on the pedestal realize that you do have control like you are more powerful again than you think that was one of the main messages as well it's almost like you guys need to hear this because maybe some of you feel like you are not in control of your reality you're just feeling like things are happening to you and everything is you know not going the way you want it to and spirit wants you to realize that you do have control if you don't like the way things are going you do have the power to change it and you aren't just helpless or stuck in this situation like this way that it's going forever you can change it and um they just want you to know that and remember also i just keep getting the message remember who you are remember who you are um so with milk and honey down here as well this is talking about exactly what i'm saying where you create the idea you think the idea you put it out into the universe you you have the idea and you put energy into it as in like thought 
you continue to think positively about it, you take positive actions towards it, whatever actions you feel guided towards. And then Spirit also asks you to, I'm here, I keep hearing bathe in the energy. So whatever it is that you want, they want you to know that you already have it. It is already created because every possibility already exists. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to try super hard to get it. All you have to do is just bathe in the energy of already having it. You have to experience it as if you have it now. So if there's a relationship you want, a person you want to be with, imagine, imagine what it would be like to have it right now and just enjoy that feeling and trust that it's already done, that everything like you've selected that reality to live, that you're living in it now. And eventually you're going to get to the end of the rainbow and that's going to happen. Again, I hope this message is making sense to someone. Um, this is definitely related a lot to manifestation as well, but it's saying that, you know, if you trust, if you just believe and you feel as if you already have it, like it, it's going to come to fruition. It's like planting a seed in the ground and then eventually that seed's going to grow into a big tree and you're going to be able to see it in the physical world. But at first, it's just going to be underground. You're not going to see it. You're not going to know you have it, but it's there. And if you keep trusting that it's already yours, eventually it will be in the physical world as well because our imagination is showing us the possibility that it, that it is possible. It is, if you can imagine it, it is one of the realities that you can experience. Um, that is what they're saying. And the other message too is that if you're seeing things in your life like chaos and conflict, you're not happy with what you're experiencing right now, um, they're saying to look inside of yourself um, and realize, you know, think back to your thoughts. Are, are your thoughts, you know, thinking every day like, oh man, I'm just stuck in this dead-end job. I hate so much. I never, he's never going to love me. He's never going to come back to me. Like, are your thoughts like that? If they are, then... Spirit's trying to say that you might be creating this chaos and conflict in your life without even knowing it. Um, so they're asking you to look inside and to, you know, notice the truth of what you're thinking, realize that you are more in control than you know, and to even take more responsibility for your thoughts and to start changing them whenever you can. So if you start to think something negative, they're asking you to, you know, switch it to something positive, to start believing something better than what you were originally thinking you know if you think he's never going to come back to me why don't you think instead like wouldn't it be nice if he if he came back to me like just start with small but eventually you can change it into even more positive thoughts but they're just saying if there's something you don't like the the window to your, to your reality like what you're experiencing is all inside look into yourself and you will see everything that you're experiencing your thoughts are creating exactly what you're experiencing on the outside so to change what you're experiencing outside yourself you have to first change what you're saying to yourself inside if that makes sense it's like taking off the mask and realizing also that you're not just a person you're not just a human you also have this inner inner consciousness you're you're connected to something way greater than yourself um so yeah it, it's also talking about too taking off the mask is kind of like ego as well like, no, I didn't create that. I would never create that in my life. Why would I want that in my life? But if you think about it, have you, have you been thinking negatively about it? Then, it? then it's probably something that you did have some effect on because our thoughts are very strong. And yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go too deep in this message. I feel like it's already getting very deep, but that is what I'm seeing, guys. Like, it's like looking into yourself. And then I also had another vision just yesterday or the day before. So interesting, this card came out, but the vision was of someone trying to get a door open and they couldn't get it open and then they it's like I looked down I was the person in this vision and I was holding the key in my hand the whole time it's like I didn't know but I always had the key in my hand the entire time and then I just see in the vision like I use the key and I'm able to open the door and now I'm able to step into this whole new reality where everything is different and the message behind that is that you've always held the key to change your reality it's been in your hand the whole time you might be sad, you might think like, you know, I'm always going to be stuck in this, but Spirit's like, the key is right there. You have the key right there to unlock the, to unlock your new reality, the one that you really want to experience. It's right there. You can crack it open. I heard also, I heard crack the code. Like you have access to it and it's right in your hand, right in front of you, but you're just, you're not seeing it. So that is what Spirit's saying. Look inside and change what you're thinking because you can literally change reality by changing your thoughts um you have the key and you've had it the entire time so yeah 
I'm also getting to that like, again, if there's anything negative in your life, they're asking you once again to clean up your thoughts, clean up the things that are in your mind that you don't like. Like every day you get up and you say, oh my gosh, like why is there always traffic when I need to be at work on time? Try instead every morning saying, you know, there's not going to be any traffic or sorry, don't say that. But yeah, even we'll go. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, trying to exp trying to explain this is tough. Okay, um, you know, in the morning if there's traffic, instead say, I always get to work on time. I always like hit every green light, something like that. Say something positive rather than the negative. And even if you don't experience it that day, even if there's still traffic, keep saying that over and over every single time. Just say it, even if it seems like it doesn't make any sense and it's not doing anything, continue to say it because like I told you guys, Everything is underground and it's planted. You planted the seed and eventually that seed's going to grow and eventually you're going to see it in your physical world. So even if you don't see it right away, eventually what you keep saying to yourself, what you keep, the water you keep putting on the seed, eventually it's going to ca cause it to shoot out of the ground and you're going to see it. So that is why people give up too on like, I think affirmations and saying things themselves and visualizing their future. They give up on it when they don't see results right away. But really it's been like spirits been working on it like it's been worked on underground the entire time and the other thing is that everything in the universe again is connected so everything has to be rearranged to your new idea or new thought and that takes some time the universe has is like a clock working perfectly in time and it has to change a bunch of different things so that your one little changing your reality can happen they have to make sure it all works together as a whole so it might take a little time for it to come to fruition, but it will if you just be consistent with it. That is what I've been getting from that. And again, if you notice, I also found this really interesting. I had the card with the key on it, and then right after that, we have the doors open as well. So again, you have the key to unlocking the reality that you really want to live. You've had it all along. You are capable of it. You are capable of having exactly what you want. And they're saying as well, everything that's outside of you or seems outside of you is not. It is all connected. It is all you. Um, you have the power to change your reality because there's endless possibilities. And okay, the other message that I did write down about this was that it's not like you don't have to try hard to change reality. It's not like you're forcefully trying to change reality. You can't, you know, yell at someone to change. It, it never really works, right? When you start yelling at someone and telling them to do something a certain way, like yelling and forcefulness it never really gets you that far um the best way to do it is just to change your perception it's not changing the reality you're living in it's just selecting a different reality if that makes sense it's so hard to explain the best um example of this is actually in the movie the matrix movie where they say when he's staring at the spoon trying to bend it and it won't bend and then i don't i don't know the movie well but there's like the kid that comes up and they say um you know, it's you shouldn't be trying to bend the spoon because the spoon doesn't actually exist. It, like, instead of trying to bend the spoon, just know the truth that there is no spoon. There is only you. Um, and then shortly after that, he does bend the spoon. And it's saying that it's not about changing your reality and changing your circumstances by physically, you know, trying to do it. It's just changing your perception and continually believing in that new perception and eventually your physical world will have to change to fit with that new perception um i hope that makes sense guys i know this was a really deep message um this is definitely for people who are i guess probably interested in manifesting as well but also just again if you're not seeing what you want in reality this is something you have to consider and um yeah it's a really important message i feel um I don't, I heard a few other things as well, some channel messages with this. I heard standing at the precipice is what I heard. Um, I heard giving birth to something new, put yourself on a pedestal. I heard use the power of the network. Um, what else did I hear? I heard call back your energy as well. I heard, can you remember who you are? I kept hearing that, remember who you are. Um, I heard birthright, awaken, wake up. Um, that's another thing you see right here. She's waking up as well. This is a huge thing. I feel it's a spiritual message for sure. Like wake up to, you know, who you really are and the capabilities that you really have and you can change your whole reality. Um, yeah, I heard a few other things too, like expansion. Um, again, that message of spend less time wanting and more time being. 
So instead of wanting something to come to reality, um, Spirit is asking you to experience it as if it's happening right now, to be that energy. I know that sounds like a crazy concept, but essentially it's just saying live in your imagination, live in the thought that it's already happened, it's already done. Um, I already have that person in my life and just continue to be honestly delusional at that point. Just, just trust in it because eventually that idea will come to fruition and you will see it in your physical world. That is the message. I also heard missing link as well. That was another message that came through. So anyways, guys, I know this was a crazy weird message, but hopefully this makes sense to someone and helps someone in their journey. Um, yeah, I just felt like I had to get it out. It was something I had to share, whether it was, you know, totally out there or not, but it is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Again, if you find this relates to you or if you like this message, um, join members. You know, if you like my content, again, I post just regular channel messages there as well. Not always stuff like this. This is kind of out there for me. Um, but yeah, we post a lot of content there. So definitely join if you like my stuff. It helps support my channel so much. Thank you guys to everyone who supports, comments, likes. It really means a lot to me. And thank you to those, again, who choose to donate that really makes my day every time. So yeah, thank you guys. And I wish you all the best and I will see you guys in the next one, right? Bye.